What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Going to do a response to the many responses that I got for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Hierarchy, my top five list. Uh, first off, I'm not changing the list. I don't make, I'm not making amendments to the list after day one. Um, probably after the Atlanteans come out, maybe a YCS or so, I'll make, you know, my next batch of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Hierarchy. But I do want to explain why I left, respectively, Heroes and Gearji is off the list, and I've, I've got reasons for both of those. Now, everybody's saying, oh, you clearly have bias towards Insector. No, that's that's not quite it. I can justify everything on that list. Uh, first off, let's talk about Heroes. Um, Heroes is one of those decks where I believe that it was a product of the beginning of every format, kind of how Glad Beast used to be, where more or less people played the deck mainly because they didn't know what else to play. The standard plays in Heroes, for the most part, haven't really changed in the last four years. You know, you're still going, it's still all about Stratos turn one, follow up with a Neos alias if your opponent threatens you with back row, change him. I mean, the, the, the basic core plays are pretty much the same. And I look at Heroes and I think, since the beginning of the format, the deck has done nothing but diminish. You look at YCS Toronto and you look at YCS Indy. It didn't have strong showings at either event. It didn't get top eight. It made top 16, I believe, at both events. And I think one hero variant top each uh, event. I mean, the, the, the arrow is clearly pointing down for heroes. You know what I mean? And the reason is because... Nothing has really changed. The, the the blueprint and the script has been written. Like, you know exactly what heroes are going to do. There isn't really no guesswork. I mean, I'll give Angel Flores all the props in the world because I think that he did have some really good ideas in this deck. But let's keep uh, perspective here, guys. I mean, the YCS Guatemala, like, there were seven rounds of Swiss. Are you kidding me? Not taking anything away from him because winning a YCS is still winning a YCS. But it was a seven-round event. We have American regionals that have now reached 10 rounds in California. Please, let's let's not blow it up like heroes are dominating everything. I looked at the regional circuit. Heroes are not doing well at all. Heroes feels like just a, a token 6-2 and two deck at best. Like, you basically have to play t perfect. I'm looking not just based off tournament results. And I look, you asked me about heroes right now. I think completely underwhelming. I mean... Uh, offensively, they're kind of limited. Miracle Fusion isn't nearly the card that it was last format because Dimensional Prison is, is reared its ugly head and Dimensional Prison just, it completely eviscerates that card because it just craps on the Shining. Bottomless Trap Hole has never stopped seeing play. That craps on the Shining. And where you had Phoenix Chain last format, which didn't hurt the Shining at all, D Prison really wrecks it. So, uh, I don't really think that heroes deserve to be top five. I mean... Do you think heroes are going to do well at Rhode Island? No. I'd be I'd be shocked if more than two heroes top 32 that event. I'd be shocked if heroes even top 8 it. Are heroes a good deck? Absolutely. Are they one of the five best decks right now, in my opinion? No. Um, okay, and Gyrgyz. The reason I did not put Gyrgyz on this list is because Gyrgyz have not done enough, in my opinion. Like, I really think that the deck is kind of fluky. Like, offensively that deck is completely limited at best and that that's really that's really being nice like putting it nicely offensively i don't really think the deck has much of anything going for it i mean if you look at the car curry version okay i'll give you that that deck can do all types of tricks and it can pull rabbits out of hats and it can otk and everything but it's highly inconsistent the more consistent version is the machina version and outside of just you know summoning machines Getting another 18. Like, it really can't do anything offensive other than make Gear Giant X, summon Fortress. Like, what else does it have? If you run into a Spirit Reaper, you basically sit there until you draw, like, a Torrential or something like that. Um, I, I, I think defensively, the deck is okay, not great. Uh, I don't like the fact that the deck has absolutely no lockdown ability. I mean, you look at decks like windups where you've got easy Shockmaster play, two card Shockmaster play OTKs. You know, you have decks like. Dark World, where they can play Skill Drain. I mean, God, even Heroes can play Skill Drain. Lagia, Doka, Sheehan. You know, all these other decks have some type of lockdown ability. Um, Even in sectors where if you get, like, a safe zone or if you get a, a Dragonfly with a sword on it and you can't kill, you can't commit to the field. Like, that's a soft lock. You know, uh, Geargy have absolutely no lock ability. They're offensively challenged. And quite frankly, I mean, the deck really, really, really just loses to Thunder King. Like, it's, it's too much stuff that the deck loses it to. The only remote offensive uh, lock that the deck can even do is side-in copies of Gozen Match until you realize, oh, wait, 
That doesn't work against Dark World. That doesn't work against Insectors. That doesn't work against Gravekeepers. That doesn't work against Agents. It doesn't work against half the fucking decks that you're going to play against. So your whole weak inside goes in match and lock you. That doesn't really play outside of against Windup. So I look at Gerges and I'm just like, show me. Like, I understand that you've got some good tops at regionals. Show me you can do it on a big circuit. Yes, you came in and you top forward your first event. You know, uh, Blackwing also top forward the first event before Whirlwind and Shura even came out. <laughs> Joe Franzo top, he top forward uh, a Shonen jump with the deck without even having Whirlwind or Shura in it. So I'm, I'm not saying that anybody can just top four, but what I'm saying is I need to see more consistency because uh, I, I'm not, I'm not impressed by their boss monster. They have no locks, offensively challenged, struggle against Thunder King, struggle against cards like Snowman Eater and Spirit Reaper. I mean, I I'm really just not that impressed by Gear Gs, to be completely honest. I mean, they don't really have much going for them other than the fact that the Kari Curry version can drop synchros like nobody's business. If you're playing the regular machine version, they have basically no XC plays outside of Gear Giant X. They can't really synchro well. I mean, the deck is so limited in almost every facet of the game. So I don't really think that Gyrgyz is that impressive. I mean, if the deck comes out at Rhode Island and blows down the doors, okay, then I'll adjust. But right now, I'm really not seeing it. So that's my reasoning. I'm not being biased at all. You know what I mean? I based off uh, the Insectors. It wasn't just based off of Billy Break top aiding one event. Uh, if you've noticed, over the last month, Insectors took about half a dozen regional top eights. You know what I mean? And sectors are starting to be that deck where they're almost topping every regionals. I mean, look on ARG's website. They're all there. You know, guys, I'm, I'm bringing you facts. So thank you very much for watching. Also, about the music, it was not that loud. Chill out. And then the music's not going away. I want that to actually be part of the segment. I mean, I'll tone the music down some, but it's not going away. Thank you guys for watching as always.